Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and do a bullet journal flip through slash daily planner flip through and we're going to just jump on into it because I don't want it to be too long of a video. I'm going to show you guys all the things that I have used pretty much in my bullet journal. This is the pen that I use, which is the Mark Lighter Japan Pilot. If you guys want to hear any more about these in little more detail, check out my April favorites. I also have my liners. These are the pastel ones. Some Me and My Big Idea stickers all in here. And these are just what I use to help my bullet journal out since I'm not really big on drawing and I don't really have a lot of time to do so. So jumping in on it, this is my Moleskine daily planner and I use it in a bullet journal type of way. I got it in the month of like I got it in late March so I did, was able to use the first half of the planner as like notes and basically just places to kind of write down my ideas and stuff. So whenever you open it I do have a couple of quotes here that I thought are very awesome especially since they are black they kind of match the batman theme and a gold little heart sticker you know just to be there these are the sticky notes that i use in my planner these are my all-time favorite sizes if you can find them you should grab them i made an index page but i never use it as you guys can see but i still do plan on doing so if you guys want to see a monthly plan with me so you guys can kind of see how to use the small little boxes that you get with the Moleskine planner, I will link it in the description box or something. Mm -mm, probably won't. I had already filmed one so it should be up. So I do incorporate this and this is the reason why I kind of also purchased it. I need it and I will always need a monthly planner. So. This is the normal information that you guys will get and I'm just going to go ahead and skip right through that. So the next thing in here is a build tracker of mine and let's just show you. You can definitely go ahead and write over here the amount but I write notes since I pretty much know the amount. Over here we have my expenses. These are all inserts that I make for my pocket planner. If you guys have not checked out my Etsy shop, that would definitely be linked in the description box below so that you can go ahead and check out my inserts if you guys are interested in purchasing them. I have a blank page here with a sticky note so that you guys can see um, just in case like whenever I come up with an idea. This is, base, this is what I wrote in my pocket vital facts for ideas whenever I, what I wanted to use this planner for, for and I just kind of made like a cute little decor page. This is a motivational slash calmness board and I just have a bunch of cute little quotes. This here is one of my daily timetables. I also just have a random sticker sheet, some you know sticky notes and I do leave everything the way that it is here are some goals these are some yearly goals and some of them may be a little embarrassing so I might have them blurred but I do plan on putting my monthly goals here and what I will do is I'll take my my the way that I get my monthly goals is the way that I get my monthly goals is basically broken up to where I can go ahead and get my yearly goals. So I hope that makes sense. I also have like my weekly and daily goals here. My daily is basically like a cleaning routine. My morning routine is over here and my evening is here. I used watercolor for some texture and I have some goals for my, for Geo and Zach, which are my two boys. And I will just randomly open up pages and just use them because I kind of like the messiness to it. I like being able to use whatever it is that I want to use and I use little washi tapes to mark on the side so that I can find it easily. So this is like bullet journal ideas for 
my journal, anything that I may see on Instagram or anything like that, I will go ahead and put it here. And I'm pretty sure that as the months go by, I will definitely find ways to fill it up. But I'm definitely not in a hurry to fill it up because I still have months until the year ends and I do want to keep this planner for the rest of the year I'm really tired of moving around from planner to planner there's certain times that can get mixed up or certain this has a sticky note for like this day right here because that's what I plan on doing is putting my monthly tracker which I haven't even been using and I have little notes here on how I want to fix them because these are not up for sale yet these are just testing so there's that Sometimes whenever I do switch out my planner so much, I will, mix, I will mix up the days of doctor's appointments or times and it really does bother me, it kind of throws me out of whack and I'm just like, what's the point of having a freaking planner if I'm not going to hold up to it? So as you can see, I don't always use it. I basically have my weekend put together here and I did not use this so I will end up using this page for a list or anything like that that I want to use and I just keep going um, nothing really stops me these little scallop stickers that you guys are seeing everywhere I actually made and these here are from varied stickers designs I'll show you guys in a little bit <clears throat> Since I said before, the weekend's to-do list is pretty much together, except on Saturday, I actually do use the schedule. So I will go ahead and write down my schedule, something kind of like this, a to-do, today, work, or something. But in this case, I'm going to have the actual things that I want to do. I just need to put a header, probably like to go or something. Things that I want to do, and then things for work that I need to do. I need to get anniversary gifts for my husband because our anniversary is on Tuesday, which is something that I do need to decorate. You'll see that I was playing around with like this weekly kind of sticky. I've seen some on Amazon, but they're quite big. They would take up the whole entire page, and this is a sticky note that I like moving from page to page as the week goes. As you guys can see, I did it here. Here's a little sample. So as it is Monday and Tuesday, but once I flip the page, the sticky note will come with me and come over here so that I can still see the days ahead of me without having to always constantly flip over here to my monthly view. Although it is very easy since I do have a paper clip. I only do plan a week at a time and I do use those page flags as you saw for like notes that I should, um, like that should happen like pre-written notes. Um, I am OCD, I say it a lot, and I don't like to mess up my planner, although I do like it to be free-spirited. I still want it to be legible, otherwise it will be too overwhelming for me and I won't use it. And the whole point of a planner is to keep me on track, not to mess me up. So that's why I feel very strongly about just keeping things where I'm able to understand and I do have different categories and that just helps me out sorry about that um, so I don't remember what I was saying but I do have different categories to just so that I can see like okay like I'm in the kitchen let's go ahead and see what I have to do around the house or let's see what I have to do for like you know like work or whatever the case may be I have this right here but this nothing happened because my son actually got bit in the eye not by a child or anything by an insect and he had an allergic reaction to it so we had to rush all the way to the hospital the nearest children hospital to me is about an hour and 15 minutes away so that really did suck and I wanted to go to I remember when I lived in the city and I tried to take him to an actual hospital they sent me to the children's hospital they said that their doctors were different or something like that. They're not pediatricians or something. I don't remember exactly what happened, but that's literally what happened to me. So I had to go out of parking, go to the other building, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, so I went over there and they did acknowledge that there was not a child's hospital in my city. So that kind of worries me what happens, what's gonna happen if something does happen 
you know, am I gonna have to wait for the ambulance to come like from an hour and a half away? It's ridiculous. Anyways, I didn't get anything done here because I was at the hospital and we did start him up on Benadryl and it has been working. His the his eye swelling has gone, gone down a lot. I don't know why I can't speak. So there we go, you know, sticky notes galore. And this is like definitely the messiest <laughs> that I have ever been in here. I feel like, as I said, I share the weekend, so I am using it like this. And yes, I do use the sticky notes to show you to like pre-plan and stuff. And that is pretty much where I am at, as you guys can see. I have labels in here because I did want to label the back, like every, you know, bullet journal person does. Um, I don't plan on going in on here, like, to write anything. I'll probably put down, like, you know, as you guys saw, like, the weekend little stickers from me and my big ideas. And basically what I do is whenever I feel like planning or something I'll just take this which is the a whole entire shitload of sticker sheets that are from different various books from me and my big ideas so I recommend going to Michael's you can get a coupon and get them for like two or three bucks you can get the bigger ones for like eight or nine dollars definitely worth them I recommend the foiled ones obviously and that is it for the actual inside I did make this kind of like paper journal in here that I use for my planner videos and stuff like that. I write like lists and things like that. So that's what's in here. Really quick, I do want to show you my favorite like stickers and stuff that I have been liking. These here are like the little scallops that you'll see in my planner that I use for doctor's appointments. These are the little um, stickers that I have been showing and I've been obsessed with this shop for the entire month of April so you guys can see I just have them in here for the little teardrops these are just some that I have made um, I guess I will offer them online because I have gotten messages on my Etsy shop to go ahead and offer them and I promise I'm not sponsored or anything by this girl I don't even know her but I do like her shops and I do feel like they are super affordable. I believe it took about I want to say maybe two to three weeks, maybe two, two and a half weeks to get them. I don't know. It did take a little long, but you guys know how people are. Nobody likes waiting for their packages, which is honestly why um I do try to ship my stuff out right away because I hate to wait myself so I do once I get the order I start working on it so that's it right now for my bullet journal I will show you guys an update next month and I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please do so and click the little bell so that you can get notified and of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments, even recommendations, leave them in the comments below because I get back to you guys as fast as I possibly can. If you are not yet subscribed to my planner channel, please check it out. It will be in the description box down below just in case you want to only see planner feed. It will be over there. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say to you guys. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and watching my videos. and. I love you all and see you guys next time. Bye.